how to make nft collection on OpenSea. hello guys welcome back to my channel i hope you all are doing amazing so in today's video i'm going to show you how you can create nft collection on OpenSea. without any delay let's get into the video so as you all know OpenSea is the biggest nft marketplace where you can buy trade and sell and you know you can collect your nfts you can see different people you can see their different collections you can see the top sellers and you can see uh different uh you know from different corners of the world some amazing art is available on nft and it is endless and you can just come here you can also buy your nfts you can also sell your nfts and you can if you're a collector you can collect and if you want to get some inspiration if you want to see some new designs you want to know what is going on in the marketplace this is the best place for you just open your openc.io and you'll be able to reach all of these amazing art makers and you'll see what they are making these days and what is in trend so you'll be good to go so for uh, today we are going to create a collection for ourselves so every person every seller on nf openc.io creates the collection of their nfts like a one collection will be named something that is related to cosmos or moons so you can uh, see their collections and you can also spot the different things on nft as you see this is basically cat nft spotlight this is notable collections this has trending these are the trending nfts the uh, trending collections that are going on right now and this is basically the on live collection that is a uh, minting right now so if you want to see the drop you can just click here and you can see the drop of this collection and you can see what it, the price what is it is going what the auction is going on and what on what price you can buy it and then you have your categories of nfts like art music trade card utility photography collectibles domain names sports and virtual words so as you can see there are so many diverse categories that are available on OpenSea. you can create on any kind of category that you want and you can also self buy from any category that you want so first of all what you need to do to create your own collection is you can just click on this wallet option right here and you can connect your own wallet to your open c so any wallet that you have will be good like if you have coinbase if you have metamask if you have any wallet you'll be able to connect it to your open and that's how you're uh, basically that's the login of your profile on open but if you don't have any wallet i would recommend to go with open metamask because metamask is really good and it is very easy to access and it also comes as a google extension so you can just add it to your google and you'll be good to go for that when you click on this wallet option you'll be able to see metamask options just click on that it will take you to the home page of metamask and from there you can just download the extension you can also create your new wallet and you'll be able to have it linked with your open sea okay so after that is done what you need to do is you need to click on this profile option right here and go into my collections you need to open your own collections the one that you have i don't have any collection right now as you know I, i'm just you know i'm a beginner right like you as well so i'm just going to go and create a collection and show you guys what are the steps that are required to create a collection on uh, open sea okay so to create a collection you have some requirements requirements that you need to fulfill first of all you need to add a logo image this image will also be used for navigation and it must be 350 into 350 is recommended size for your logo image just go on and click on this option and you'll be able to access your uh, computer's pictures and from here you can add in any picture that you want as your logo so let's say i want to add this ape nft as logo so i'm just going to click on this and i'm going to open it and okay so this is good so this is my logo so next thing is featured image this will, image will be the one that will people uh, see on the first uh, when they open your collection and this will be your featured image so you need to add your best nft as your featured image so that people will be interested into seeing more of your nfts so i'm just going to add this picture right here as my featured nft i know it's not very good and everything it doesn't even fit right but you need to add something that looks really good and that is best and then you need to add your banner image this image will appear at the top of your collection page avoid including too much text in this banner image as the dimensions change on different devices you have 1450 recommended for for example like if you are opening your collection on mobile the dimensions will be a little bit different if you're opening it on desktop tablet it will be a little bit different so we need to add a simple banner image so that it doesn't have any text because that text is uh, you know it might get cropped it might get uh, you know the pixels might go out and everything so you need to add something that is not very very much uh, you know texty which is not very if it gets cropped it 
doesn't make any kind of difference so the banner image will uh, basically show up somewhere right here like a header image so you need to also add something really good into your banner image i have this ape nft uh picture as well into my banner image because i'm not going into a uh, create the collection uh this is just for tutorial purpose so what you need to do is you need to then add a name for your collection it can be anything but it has to be catchy okay so in the name you have to add a good name for your nft because it will appear and it will basically intrigue your customers your uh, potential uh, buyers to buy your nft so i'm just going to add into this cherry berry because i don't have any good name right now in my mind but your name must be good because you are really going to create this collection so the next thing is okay uh cherry berry is taken i'm just going to add one two three four okay this is available so the next thing is you need to create a url for your nft like this from this url you will be able to uh, ask people to access your collection if you want to showcase your collection anywhere onto any other platform you can just copy this url and you'll be able to go on and paste this url and everyone uh, opening this url will be able to access your uh, collection on OpenSea. So what you need to do is I'm just going to this is your URL HTTPS OpenSea.io collection and then you need to add the name. The name is uh, I named it Cherry Berry so I'm just going to add Cherry Berry right here too because it will uh, give that name uh, give the url my own uh, customization then you have to add your description you have to add any good description of your nft what was the uh, inspiration behind uh, creating this nft why you created and what why would people be interested in buying that specific nft and what are some features about that nft so you need to add all of these things into description and you need to be very comprehensive but also very uh, it should be also very attractive it shouldn't be very wordy but it, it should have good vocabulary but you should create something really good because it will attract people as well so then you have to add a category into the category you can just go on and click on any category that is uh, going to be your collection like i'm going to make it as a collectibles then you need to link to your site if you have any websites that are related to your nft creation or something you can just link them and then you have your address earn a percentage of the sale price every time one of your items is sold adding multiple addresses may increase gas fees for buyers so you can add your creator fees uh, you can earn your creator fees and add your addresses right here this is how you'll be able to earn money every time a piece is sold uh, this will be a, per a percentage of that will be sale price will be uh, come here into the creator fees then you have your blockchain what kind of a blockchain that you want i have ethereum and polygon so i'm just going to go with ethereum because gas fees is uh, less on ethereum as compared to polygon then you have your tokens in what tokens you'll want your payment i have ethereum w ETH, and you can add more tokens if you want to let's say i want to add usdc as well i'm going to add it and this is my token added then you have your display theme how you want your nfts in your collection to be uh, listed how you want them to be shown so if this covered theme you have contained and padded i'm going to go with covered because it has more access of the whole of uh, you know nft and it, i think it is good so i'm just going to if you have uh, if your nft is related to any explicit content just uh, as turn the sensitivity on and then you have your show open variety ranking you can turn this on but this is not supported by this kind of collection you can it is just for a uh, currently supported for erc721 collection just going to leave it and then you can just click on this create option when you click on this create option you will be able to create an and collection for yourself let's say okay i just click on this option to create and my collection is being created right now and whenever i create an nft on OpenSea, in the collection option i will be able to see this specific collection of mine and when i will click on this uh, specific collection that nft will directly become a part of that collection so right now uh, because i didn't add an address so that's why it is not um, you know it doesn't uh, work on and uh, my nft collection is not made but for you when you'll add everything just add on your address and when you click on create your collection will be created just simply as that so this is how you create your collection on opensea.io and uh, this is how basically you get your nfts listed in a collection so if you have any queries comment it down in the comment section below and i will try to get back to you guys and uh, please keep watching my videos and please give this video a big thumbs up until the next video i'll see you guys take care and bye bye